All right, today, step four, organizing our data. We're going to see what happened. So on our penny table, we noticed that container A had 100 number of pennies, container B had 100, and 100 pennies, and container C had 100 pennies. Looking at our containers together with 100 pennies in them, you can see that one container you can see that one container looked more full or less than the other ones. But all three containers actually had the same number of pennies. So the size and shape of a container can be deceiving, but it's not always a good indicator of its volume.